What is up, y'all? This is going to be slightly different to the usual kind of video we do. No research, no PPTs, etc. No complex ideas. But when it comes to popularity, this is by far the most popular question that I get from all my audiences, whether it's you guys from YouTube, whether it's people from AI Made Simple, Tech Made Simple, LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, etc. And this question is, hey, Devansh, how can I get into machine learning? I want to... I want to get a job in machine learning. How do I do that? Should I get a, I'm planning to do this course. I'm planning to get this degree. Do you think it's good? Should I do this? Should I do something else? What should I do? So this is a very interesting question. And to answer that this correctly, what we need to do is look into who you are and answer this from a bunch of different perspectives. So one, do you need a degree, upper level degree? That answer changes whether you want to get to machine learning engineering or machine learning research. Secondly, who are you? Are you a junior early career prospect who wants to do, let me just adjust the camera, yeah. Are you an early career prospect who wants to do AI and is probably done either getting into the first job or has only one job, one to one, two years of work experience? Are you a more senior person who has worked in for five, seven, ten 10 plus years? And now you've just decided that you think AI would be a great place to build your career. Based on that too, the answer changes. So let's answer each of these sections individually. First off, and the simplest one to answer is research. You want to get into machine learning research. Here, unfortunately, there's almost no way for you to get any lucrative positions without a degree, without an upper level degree. Courses also aren't going to cut it. People aren't going to consider them. You'll have to get either a master's degree or a PhD. All these people like Elon Musk, uh, Google, they're all talking about, oh, you can just take these are uh, these things. You don't need a degree. We won't consider it. But if you go to their job websites, you look at the research positions. Most often they'll have a master's or a PhD requirement. So unfortunately, you want to get into research. There's no way around it. You'll have to get a degree. If you want to get into academic research, so college research and nonprofit research, then there's almost no way in hell you're getting it without even a PhD. Then even a master's degree is often not enough. You'll have to get at least a PhD. So that is... Your first requirement is that. Now, if you were working as a researcher with your companies, I my work is often mixed between an engineer and a researcher. You can actually be a fantastic researcher without any degrees. Case in point, your boy, your cult leader. I am the most woke person in ML research and I have, no, I taught myself completely. I didn't even have college courses to teach me neural networks, etc. I taught everything on my own. The reason, and that's why I can say this firsthand, that it's much, 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 much harder. Almost nobody's going to consider you job or like you'll be restricted from applying to jobs uh, in interviews. They'll just sh push you away. Sometimes they have questions that you won't come across in your self-taught things because uh, college uh, colleges tend to structure their things a little differently. So they, they, they'll have questions that you would not have come across if you were self-studying, but you would if you were at college, etc. All of these become huge, huge factors when you're uh, being a self-taught person, which is why if you want to get into research, don't make life harder for yourself. Just get that degree. I did. I couldn't do it because I don't like college at all. I was I was really not happy there. So for me, I would I would rather take the pain of, uh, you know, a harder job application process because I have enough of an audience and I have enough of skills where I can still find something as opposed to the pain of staying multiple years in college, but just know that that it's going to be much, much harder for you if you choose to go the no degree route. Now, if you want to get into machine learning engineering, fortunately, things are look, will look up for you. It's much easier to get in there. But even here, there are a few caveats. Let's say you are a early career prospect. For you, what should you do? And the answer for an early career prospect is actually very different to a late career, late stage person. Uh, you know, multiple years of work experience, etc. So for early career people, you could you have two options. Okay, one again, one you can directly go get a degree because a lot of people will hire you from ML engineering roles straight out of a master's. You don't need to go to a PhD if you don't want to get a master's degree, and you'll be able to get ML engineering roles. Two, what you could do is you could have some years of work experience. Now, getting your first job right off the bat as an ML engineer is going to be really hard for you. So what I would recommend doing is become a data engineer or become a cloud engineer. 
because both of these roles enable AI in systems. So they enable teams to set up AI. Data engineers will query data, parse data, etc., and really pull everything out and let data scientists like me do the work. Cloud engineers similarly get can get very good with deployment, handling all the processes, etc. Either way, you would have a very strong skill that is desirable in AI. And second, most importantly, you will be interfacing with a lot of data scientists, with a lot of AI engineers, a lot of deep learning researchers, etc. When you are interfacing with them, working on teams with them, don't be an idiot and actually talk to them. Make sure you you make friends with them, network with them, and then you can internally snake your way into one of the more data science oriented roles. You can make your pro projects more data science oriented from a data engineering position. Hey, maybe you decide you just like being a data engineer or cloud engineer and you stay, or you can network your way, become internally a data scientist, data en uh, AI engineer, etc. And then once you have two, three years of experience, you leave, you'll be in the market and everybody will want you because you have those years of work experience already as an AI engineer. It's very hard to get it immediately from after graduating from undergrad but if you do uh what if you have some years of experience life becomes so much easier trust me now the second option for you is let's say you are a more senior person a lot of people who reach out to me are 7 8 10 15 years of work experience and they just decided that hey i'm not happy with where i am currently or hey i look at ai and i see how much money is there i want to get into that how can i get in a lot of these people make the mistake of getting a start uh, doing a master's degree or trying to get uh, do courses etc and trust me it's not going to be as helpful to you again unless you want to get into research if you're really passionate about research then go for it get that upper level degree but if it's just about working in machine learning and building a career which is what most people i speak to are like and that's completely fine that's how i am i'm not like burningly passionate about ai it's completely okay to um, you can just skip those degrees because you have work experience, which is very valuable. What I suggest for you is similar to the early career prospects who should be getting into ML engineering is you should be trying to orient projects towards AI. Now, since you're more senior, you can act, you actually have leverage. You can start saying, I want to implement this. I want to try these things out. You can actually lead projects because you have those years of experience. You should have the credibility in your company to be able to at least get things off the ground. When you start getting things off the ground, the first step you should do is hire external AI consultants, etc. good ones. So uh, let's say you'd work, this is what I do a lot of. You'd, we'd, we'd have conversations and I'd give you a, I'd help you set up the AI systems to begin with. Once we have those AI systems to be running, I will teach you very, very quickly about how uh, these different operations work. This is what you should be looking out for. This is data drift, this is that what you should be catching this is what i'd be very careful of and then in one two three months you can you're you can you're basically you've grown up you're no longer a baby you can stand on your own and you can run those pipelines yourself of course this was this will involve a lot of you studying on your own anyway but you were going to do that with a you were going to do that by going to courses and a master's degree etc this way you can skip all of them and cut out all the fat that is there and really focus on the core as a you you will have to upskill a lot on your own i can help you uh, when i work with people i'll typically give them resources to focus on learn learn from etc and then two three four months after we you hire me we'll stop working together because you have everything set up and even if you are not an ai expert yet you have basic knowledge and what you have more importantly is you have all the resources that you can refer to to keep training yourself and keep building bigger after these months these AI systems, typically they're the first version is going to be very small and very simple. It's going to be doing very basic things. And what we will, what you will do on your own is keep layering upon them, make them more complex, make them more challenging. Instead of directly trying to build a chat GPT what, or, or use LLMs to do this, da, 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 I'm, we'll work very simply. You work very simply and you build up. Why do you do this? So Because that way, whatever you build, you know it's working, you can test it, etc. And obviously, one, two, three years down the line, same story as the other people, you would be, you would have been working in AI, working in AI dominant area. Since you'll be leading the project, you can really decide what to do, what not to do, where you want to develop your skills. 
because always remember there's going to be data coming in data coming out which means you can do a lot of things with the data and once you're once you do that you should actually be able to if you want we'll find new roles in ai etc your skills will be extremely valuable to any person because a lot of good ml engineering is software engineering with ml oriented skills so the more engineering heavy positions there's a lot of them they 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 don't require as much deep mathematical knowledge and insight as somebody like me develops by interacting a lot of with a lot of primary resources etc a lot of these are more engineering focuses so an architect might tell you what to build and you'd implement them you'd make th make sure things are running with low latency uh, memory consumption etc are down your a your prior software engineering expertise is going to be very valuable there it's not going to go to waste and with those five seven ten whatever years of experience you have you have these additional two three years of machine learning experience you are such a desirable candidate because then you have both the ml skills and you have the core software skills that will allow you to succeed in any team now what if you want to transition more into management i'd say very similar to you very similar to what you should do if you want to do ml engineering cut down a little on the uh, scaling up your ml engineering core technical skills for uh, read a lot about ml management specifically how to uh, like problems with data cor data corruptions etc learn about ai as a system because those are going to be very very valuable there are some specifics of machine learning that make it very different to traditional software should be a master of that even if it's not on a technical level you should at least have an understanding of how the various components play with each other and that will be great now let's say you want to develop projects to develop your own skills in your own time what can you do here well i have a few videos on my youtube channel you should check them out i have an intermediate project for people and a beginner project for people so if you're starting at the very start if you're nervous look at the beginner project try to implement that first and if you can do that easily then move on to the intermediate project if you can do the intermediate project you can apply it to mostly anybody and they will at least consider you and hire you because that intermediate project contains pretty much every step of the machine learning pipeline so you will be able to show yourself to be useful no matter where you go once again let's quickly recap you don't need a degree to be a great machine learning engineer or researcher but it will help you a lot especially if you're looking for research related roles you similarly don't need to do any courses any of those big paid courses etc if you have the right game plan you can be completely great self-taught if you need help with setting up a game plan my social media links are in the description below reach out to me and we'll discuss this next if you are a junior focus very strongly on your data engineering and cloud engineering either of these skills are going to be extremely extremely valuable to any team that wants to do data science and data analysis so you can so you will always have some career option there and typically these roles will not require upper level degrees you get in through these and then you can slowly transition your way into more ai data science focused roles for more my more senior viewers more senior audiences for you the game is slightly different i if you can get a master's degree but it's not going to help you a lot my recommendation to you is just take your internal projects and try to start layering data into them slowly if you need help with that once again you can reach out to me we can work together i can help you set something up and once you set something up we can get this going uh, that's pretty much all i wanted to cover in this video i appreciate you watching if you like this make, please hit the like button help me grow subscribe share this with people who would have found this valuable check out all of my content in the so uh, and social media in the links below and i'll catch you soon stay woke go kill all and i love you Bye.